spot. Right behind them at number two, uh-oh, the nine and three Cowboys skip. These two still have a meeting left, Christmas Eve on Fox. Shannon, we'll start with you. On a scale of one to 10, what chance do you give the Cowboys of catching the Eagles and winning the NFC East? Come on. Point five. So Point five? Yeah, somewhere between one and zero. You can never say never. Mm. Um, anything can happen. But the Cowboys are still two, bank, two games behind the Eagles. And because the Eagles are already beating them, so they theoretically, that's a half a game. So I, I like where the Eagles are. If I'm, if I'm the Eagles, given a choice with five games to go, which, would you, which position would you rather be in? The Eagles two games up or the Cowboys two games back? Okay, obviously. <laughs> exactly. All right. Look at the Eagles' remaining schedule at Giants, at Bears, at Cowboys. Three games on the road, Saints, Giants. Cowboys' remaining schedule at home against the Texans, at the Jags, home against the Eagles, at Titans, at the, at the Commanders. So, basically, you got to hope they lose two games, and basically you got to win out, Skip. Mm. That's what you got to hope for. Mm. You see that happening? I don't. So, you're going on the road. You're taking your show on the road. Mm. So, get ready. I wouldn't mind taking my show on the road. Well, you go take it on the road. I, I trust my team away more than I do at Jerry World, well, which they, is the nation stage. Shannon Sharp. Yeah. I just got a feeling about this. No, you don't. I just got a feeling <laughs> that this is going to happen. I believe we will catch the Eagles. I believe we will pass the Eagles. I'm going to need some help because that's the position we're in. Yeah. And I need help from our friend, the Giants. I need go, Giants, go. I need Big Blue to rise up and be Big Blue. I need Daniel Jones and Saquon to have division rival games against Philly because they got two shots at them. The first one is this Sunday at home, and then they go there for the last game, and maybe that won't matter. But this, this would be the game that they could rise and shine for us. They could do us a huge favor because – we are going to beat the Eagles on Christmas Eve. It's done, guaranteed, booked. We are going to beat them. We will wreak revenge on them. It will be Christmas Eve, get even. Let's just say get even skip. on Christmas Eve. I don't believe what what you want to happen on Sunday is going to happen. I don't believe they lose. Basically, you you say you. I don't think the, the Bears the Bears are packed in. And once the Bears traded those players, I'm like okay. y'all good. Y'all ain't trying. All to right, good. but but they do have a quarterback who is dangerous, and yet. The New Orleans defense is legit because I'm going to remind you on back to back, they, they play New Orleans in Philadelphia. That's yeah. the other one that where I've got a shot in this game because remember, New Orleans two weeks ago went to San Francisco with Jimmy G completely healthy and held them to 13 points. But the problem was it was they, 13 to nothing. They scored zero to points. Nothing. So Andy Dalton scored nothing. Exactly. But I'm going to remind you. That Tom Brady and company, as woeful as they've been on offense, with five minutes to go on Monday Night Football, they had scored a grand total of three points. Right. And then it was just Brady-esque doing goatish things that they scored 14 in the last five minutes. But remember, that's a grand total of 17 points they scored on that defense. But one, th one thing that the, the, the Eagles don't have a problem is getting points. They're one of the top scoring teams in the NFL. Okay, but Jaylen. I think everybody's going to have a hard time getting points at, against that defense right now because it's playing at a very high level. It can rush the passer with just four, and I'm assuming Marshawn Lattimore is going to come back at some point for soon because I thought he was going to be back on Monday night. Well, when you get to the quarterback with four, guess what that means? Jalen Hurts okay. running down right. the field with that okay. cape, pushing him down the field. You, you could be right, but I saw him on his home field lose to the commanders. I, well, I, saw, right? I saw you lose too. Mm-hmm. But okay. I tell you what, but, guess, but you see, stop hoping for somebody to do your dirty work. Well, you worry about Christmas Eve. You okay. take care of business. All right. We were only down 20 to 17 at Philadelphia early in the fourth quarter, and my defense could not stop Jalen Hurts on three consecutive third downs. What makes you think they can stop him now? Okay. I just believe we're, we're just we're better. We are nuclear capability now. You know, we explode could, on people. Y'all can scop Aaron Rodgers. We explode on people. That was a an aberration. Uh, that was, you know what I keep hearing? I keep hearing a lot of uh that was an aberration. Uh, mm. that was a was that was a one-off. Mm. You threw you two games back. We exploded on the Bears. We, really? We exploded on the Vikings. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We, about, we, the Vikings, that oh, was serious. Let me ask you a question. We exploded on the Colts. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Eagles beat the Vikings too. Oh, you think? Oh, oh you you having the Bears? You do know the Eagles play the Bears too, right? Okay. 
All I know is we just need one. We need we got two shots with Giants and we got one shot with New Orleans. Those are the shots we got. And all we need is one of those to come through because we will take care of the Eagles on Christmas Eve. And if we do, remember, they've already lost a division game also. So we win because we would have the better division record. But hey, y'all gotta worry about the Titans. No. Y'all worry about the Titans in Tennessee. Okay, we would have to win out. Yeah, and, exactly. And that will no, be no cakewalk there. Although, I, why they fired their GM in mid season or it's late in the season, but why, why during the season you'd I fire mean, your GM? Is, I mean, and I guess it's because AJ Brown had a big game. No, and you I, I don't think that but, was but why. Skill. But whatever. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking the owner when you make a move like that, don't the owner have to sign off on? Yeah, is that not knee jerk in, yeah. in December to do that? It, it, okay, it, it, and it doesn't send a good message to the locker room at it's all. It's not like they're in last place in the no, division. No, they're just still in the first place. Okay, <laughs> but we have to go there and deal with them, and then we have to go to Washington and deal with them. Yeah. And that will not be a cakewalk. Oh, Taylor either. Heineken. Uh, no. He gonna get a new pair of shoes. No. He like, yeah, yeah. So what's blue? The blue and silver. Jordans. He about to get right, a pair, okay. courtesy of you got. Maybe okay. the Jordans said the Hoyas. Okay, I, I got it. But we are highly capable of winning out. Uh, and, and, and the Eagles aren't? Okay, well, I'm just saying that they're fallible because I saw them lose to the Commanders at home. I've, saw, I've seen you lose three games. Okay, but we lost to the GOAT on opening night and Dak stunk, right? Oh, so, it, hold on, y'all lost to somebody else too. Y'all lost to the Eagles. Uh -huh. So, they we we lost at the Eagles on and then, Sunday. And what about Aaron Rodgers? Well, who you got a little no respect for? Okay. You say he done mailed it in. Well, I, you know, I told you, I first guessed that. I told you he's like Dracula to us. He sucks our blood. Mm -hmm. He sucks us dry. And he did it again. Yep. He came back from the dead. We, we didn't drive a stake through his heart. We had him down 28 to 14 going to the and what did quarter. Eagles, and what did the Eagles do to him? Okay. Who looked like the better team that day? We did. No, y'all didn't. Oh, stop. Y'all did for three quarters. Okay. Y'all looked like the better team for three quarters. And then, mm -hmm. he, then they stepped on the gas and took off. <laughs> yeah. And then what happened? You know what? You're going to have a long, hard finish to this year. Skip. So, something is cooking and brewing in Dallas. Now, y'all, you know, y'all yeah, only we, had. We don't need Odell. Y'all going to be just Y'all only had three pillars on Sunday, but you mm -hmm. know. So mm -hmm. y'all had three this week. Y'all normally average about eight or nine. Yeah. So that means you got to get like 12, 13 in a game here yeah. before long. No, I, I think we're past that. I don't think you're we, past that. We have that. risen above. Please <laughs> drop the Mike McCarthy. I don't think you're past that. Mike McPenalty no, is a no, thing no, of the no. past. We, we have left him in our rear view. And Jerry Jones, we, we just, we kind of shrug and laugh and go on about our merry way. That's what we do. No. Yes. Nope. This yep. debate we is going to go on okay. until mm -hmm. one of those two teams is eliminated. So, guys, we've got to leave it here for this morning. We're out of time because another Steelers wide receiver blows up on the <laughs> sideline. we got to show you. Well, since winning their last Super Bowl, the Patriots have not won a single playoff game. Get this. They also missed the playoffs entirely in 2020 and now currently out of a playoff spot this season. Shannon, how much blame does Bill Belichick deserve for this record? All of it. Mm. Skip, remember when, when we were talking about who gets the credit, and I gave Bill Belichick most of the credit? Yeah. Because guess what? He hired all the coaches. He brought in all the players. He drafted all the players. The free agents that came in, he was responsible for. He ran Tom Brady off. He did. He's responsible for that. Mm -hmm. So if I gave you the lion's share of the credit, I'm giving you all the blame because your are your pride, his stubborn pride, won't let him go outside of his outside of his little minions yep. and hire somebody that, that's called plays, that's an offensive coordinator. Well, let me get Matt Patricia. He's a mechan mechanical, electrical, nautical engineer <laughs> in, in, in uh, aeronautics. Let, we're going to let him call plays, even though he's never been on the offensive side. Let me get Joe Judge. Mm. He was a special team guy. He might call some plays, too. Mm. Mac Jones is regressed. Mac Jones looked like, a, looked like a very good quarterback, a very young, promising quarterback yep. last season. And now he got two knuckleheads that never called plays before in their life because Coach Belichick pride. His pride, I want more credit than Tom Brady. He ran Tom off. Yep. He getting all of it because, remember, he got those uh, uh, drafted those two tight ends, ended up cutting both of them. He did. He, uh, Hunter Henry, John New Smith paid them a ton of money. They just some guys. Mm -hmm. Took Mr. Crab money run. Mr. Crab looking like what, what, Billy. That we call him Billy. Mm -hmm. what, what are we doing? Now, what are you doing? I'm, I'm messing up your money, Mr. Crab. I gave you, I gave you six in 20 years. That might be all I got for you. They ain't winning no championship anytime soon. And I think he's a. I still believe he's the best coach. But he he did this. He made this mess. 
He shopped for all the groceries. He cooked all the groceries. Yep. He hired all the cooks to cook the groceries. No, he, you, you, he, he wearing this hat. All this. Yep. All this. 100. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your acknowledgement of that because I always gave Brady 75% of the credit. And the truth is the reason they are who they're not is because Tom Brady is no longer there. Mm -hmm. And I still believe that he was a buffer in the locker room that allowed Bill to be Bill and coach old school football to the point that Tom would have to tell the locker room, just ignore him. Let him be who he is because we'll figure this out ourselves. Right. And they always did figure it out because it was a Patriots dynasty. And I'll give Belichick 25% of the credit for coaching the defense because I think he is – 